can't imagine why Brett would want to leave so early, Jessica. Well, unless he was taken ill, in which case. <gasps> When Brent and I got home, he started telling me about these terrible financial problems we were facing, and I couldn't handle it. I, I, I went upstairs and I started to get ready for bed. How long were you up there? I don't know, uh, 15, 20 minutes. Just why did I leave him down here like that? He needed it. Don't punish yourself, Emily. I only came back downstairs when I heard you and sent the drive up. The coroner's preliminary examination indicates that it was a heart attack, Miss Broussard. The only mark on the senator was a small puncture wound on his right hand. Oh, Jess, there was that splinter he caught the other day. She's nowhere in the house, Lieutenant. We'll find her. But where could Yvette have gone? I'd invited her to stay at our table at the opening. Yeah, Mama, come on. I think it's time you got some sleep. All right, come on. Lieutenant, if the coroner's preliminary diagnosis was a heart attack, I assume all of this uh, homicide activity has to do with this uh, odd little doll that I assume represents Brent. You're real tight with Tom McRae, Mrs. Fletcher, so you know it wouldn't be the first time that voodoo has taken the rap for the bad boys. And so, of course, you are testing the brandy snifter for toxic substances. Right again, Mrs. Fletcher. Excuse me. Jessica, I just heard her off the wire. Where is Cynthia? Well, she went upstairs with Emily. Tom! Oh. Oh, darling. Oh. How's Emily holding up? Um, well, she's upstairs asleep. And what about you? Something I can do for you? Yeah, just hold on to me. Oh. Jessica! I seem to have left my handbag at the club. Are we over here? I won't be long, Cynthia. It's just a short walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah.